Okay, I'm gonna just skip the intro and I just wanna say happy fall. That's right, I'm back at the kitchen making something incredible and really, really easy. So I'll let the video speak for itself. And anyway, again, did I mention happy fall? Anyway, I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself. I'm talking a lot, I know. I mean, it's fall, like, there are a lot of things that you can think about, like, that goes through all your mind. So, like, this and this and this and this. Anyway, we're zooming back to the video. I'm really excited because I haven't done recipes in a while. Oh my god, it's been like months. Or maybe years. Ugh, I cannot keep track on time, seriously. <laughs> but it's now in fall, so I'm excited to try out this recipe because it's an Italian food recipe. It's chicken fettuccine alfredo. That alfredo sauce with the chicken and the pasta all creamed together was heaven. So that's why I decided to try this recipe out in home. Because not only it saves you a car drive all the way to a garden or any Italian place, you know, that you know, but it also saves you a lot of money and, you know, gets you all these limited ingredients, you know, so you don't have to waste a lot of money. I'm excited to show you this recipe, so enjoy. Well guys, looks like I'm back to doing voiceovers, so here we go. Have a pot ready with some water and heat it up at, 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 at about a medium level, like this pretty much then get yourself uh, two pounds of chicken breasts and cut it in strips the way the way like I'm doing it because I find it easier for me but if you have your own method to do it so then well go ahead because basically we have our own unique ways to doing things then season it up with some salt and black pepper use your hands make sure they're clean of course to coat them very well and remember, it's about specializing the flavor into the chicken so every bite counts. Once the water starts boiling, add some salt. This of course depends on the packaging instructions from the fettuccine. Then have a large pan over there and set it to a low uh, medium heat. Add the fettuccine to the boiling water. Wait for a few seconds until it weakens and then once that happens, cover it with the lid. And now to the large pan, add some, I would say like 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil or whatever oil you have and spread that around. Then add the chicken strips carefully and then spread them around using tongs or basically whatever you feel comfortable using. Uh, just so the chicken doesn't stick together, you're all together into this gigantic chicken of course because this is because we're basically making a chicken alfredo so do we? So after a few minutes, I would say 5 minutes or 6 minutes or so, flip it around and then make sure you spread them around so it gets evenly cooked. And it should look like this. Well BAM! Look at that! Anyway, I want to know from you guys, what's your favorite dish when it comes to the holidays? Like what dish that just gives you that nostalgic feeling when you were a kid? Let me know in the comments right below. So once all the chicken is all evenly cooked, put them in a bowl as you're going to be using them for later. Get your saucepan ready onto the stove. Peel up the garlic and start mixing it onto a cutting board. This also works with unpeeled garlic as well, but I couldn't find one near my store, so I had to work with the garlic head. Anyway, start mixing it as small as you can, because the more you cut it into small bits, the quicker it melts onto the saucepan. Add one stick of butter and mix for until it melts. Add 2 cups of whippy cream. Add the minced garlic and season it with salt and black pepper. And for this part, you're gonna stir the cream mixture nice and slowly and do it until it starts to simmer. So, not overboil, just simmer a little bit. And since it's gonna take a while, I'm gonna use my time wisely to do the dishes. So yeah, when if there's a part that takes long, do something, something productive around the kitchen just so you could stay there and you know keep an eye on that mixture, that cream mixture. And this here, my friends, is what it looks like when it starts simmering. And the last ingredient for this cream mixture is a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Give it a stir until it melts completely to the mixture. Whew, took about a lot of ingredients, but it wasn't that money. But if I can do it, so can you at home. 
And here's the part where it all comes together. So get a large pan, prepare the fettuccine pasta, the grilled chicken, and lastly, our special sauce, the alfredo sauce. Oh my god, look at that. Now stir it nice and slowly, because you don't want it to make a mess around the kitchen. And lastly, you gotta add some parsley or cilantro. Either way, the will work. Bam! Bon appetit! I can already tell it smells so good. <laughs> wow, okay, time to dig in. Do this ASAP. I'm telling you, do it ASAP. I cannot believe I made this. I mean, nothing can go wrong when you're making pasta. I mean, basically, you're just playing around, you know, with the chicken and then just mixing around with the cream mixture, but you know, it's nice and you know, carefully, so you don't burn down the house. <laughs> That's why it's really important to babysit the mixture, the cream mixture, just so you can observe how thick you want it. So when the time is right, you just have to turn it off and basically let it cool down. And then afterwards, mix it, the, the, the fettuccine and the chicken all together and bam, you get this perfection right here. This works great for Thanksgiving and the holidays. And if you're in the mood, just because it's fall, but yeah, well, again, thank you so much for watching. Smash. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more recipes like this. And well, see you next time on Yummy Test. Okay? Adios.